Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this sister, that you are doing a new thing in her life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, living spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. There is a relative of yours who is not feeling well. I, I'm seeing a female person who is not well. Father, I use my sister as a point of contact to intercede for her mother that she may experience healing in her body. I commit Rufaro into your hands, Almighty God, because you are the one who made her body. I say, God, may you move by your spirit and begin to touch her body. May you restore the parts of her body that are feeling pain. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Father, I thank you that you are a good God, that you are a gracious God. I thank you, living spirit, for your grace upon your daughter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your child, for your son, that you are doing a new thing even in his life, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, living spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. That he can, God is going to shine his light upon him. The thank one you. that is outside. Thank you. Sir. Yes. It's thank going you. to come to pass. Thank you. And they will be able to assist you here and there thank by you. the grace of God. Thank you. Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your daughter that you are doing a new thing even in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, living spirit. The spirit of God is saying, I must give you the book of Esther and also give you the book of Ephesians. So you start those books of the Bible. God will speak to, to your heart, to your life through those books. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to say, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. That you are shining. That you are shining. Even upon my family. Even upon my family. Yes. Because God wants to intervene even in your family situations. To order direction within your family. Okay. Yes. Whatever the enemy has scattered, the spirit of God is telling me that this is a season when God is gathering. Just to say, oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. That you are restoring my family. That you are restoring my family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That my family is restored. That my family is restored. Yes. So when you read those books, you will realize that God is going to restore your, your family. Amen. Because sometimes deliverance and the divine intervention it doesn't come through a specific prophetic word, which is saying there is pristine, and then you go into these details by the word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But when we, when we release a scripture and we read it and yeah. we meditate on the word of God, it is more powerful than any prophetic message that you can ever receive. Amen. Yes. So the things that you have been longing for, the things that you have been crying for for God, the spirit of God is saying it's your season of Amen. entering into those things. Amen. He's saying I must give you encouragement through the book of Ephesians and through the book of Esther. Amen. God is going to encourage you through those books. I thank God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this sister that you are touching her life and that her life is being restored. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I received your testimony. Yes, we, we are praying and we are believing God for more. I want you to say, oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Speak like someone who, who, who really believes in Christ. Say, oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. That I'm going to enter into more testimonies. That I'm going to enter into more testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, but uh, when I'm looking at you, last time when we were at Sizinda, the, the last prayer that I was offering was for clothing. I, I, the Holy Spirit keeps pointing me to, to items which are like clothing, which are a point of contact for the enemy to invert your life. What are these things? What is it about? Fabrics. I'm a lamp. Is, is there anything which is clothing which connects you to the other world, which is not in harmony with Christ? Yes. Ngwil. 
today I declare that any name which is not connected to Jesus is nullified. Whatever she's going to touch, it is blessed. Amen. She's entering into a wealthy place. The enemy will not frustrate even the glory of God which is upon her life. I Father, I thank you that today is a day. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is done. Amen. Yes, it is done. Let us keep hands from God. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my sister that you are touching her life, that you are transforming her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, living spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship you, O oh God. We thank you, ancient of days, that you are doing your will and your purpose. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Go and read John chapter 14. Yes. Don't allow your heart to be trampled. The message is saying, Jesus Christ is in control. The sermon that I was sharing, it is your own sermon. Say, it is my own sermon. It is my own sermon. Yes, the things that you have suffered, it doesn't mean that you have sinned more than other people. No, you have to go through those things, but God is in control. Amen. He's saying, I must tell you that he is in what? He is in control. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this child, that you are doing a new thing even in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this child that you are doing a new thing even in her life. I pray that you cover her by the blood of Jesus Christ and that you restore whatever the enemy has stolen from her life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for my sister. I say, God, may you shine your light even upon her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You remember the message that I spoke? Mm. I still stand by that message. Amen. I don't want to go into details of that message. Amen. There is a destiny which I can compare to a city Amen. which God has reserved for you. Amen. So do everything to attain to that destiny Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my sister that you are doing a new thing in her life. I thank you, Lord that you are a good God, that you are a gracious God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The, the message is saying, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want you to confess and say, greater is he, greater is he that is in me, that is in me than, he than he that is in the world. Is in, the world. in the world. The mm -hmm. reason why I'm saying that is because sometimes you fear so many things. The future... You fear quite a lot of things. The Holy Spirit is saying, fear not, believe in the one who is in you. Amen. He is greater than the sum total of all the circumstances that you have ever met and the circumstances that you are going through. He is great. Amen. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my sister that today you are doing a new thing in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your daughter. I say may you touch and transform her life. I thank you, Lord, that you are entering into the stream of her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. You are a nurse. Mm -hmm. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your daughter that you brought in this world to take care of those who are suffering physical afflictions and emotional afflictions. I pray that on top of this gift that you gave her, may you anoint it so that she will have gifted hands. Gifted hands, which when they touch people, people will experience a touch which is not of this world, a touch which is from the Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Yes. So, go and read the book of Luke from Luke chapter 1 up to Luke chapter 7. Amen. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this child. I pray even your grace upon her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your spirit and your presence. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I thank you, living spirit, that you are a good God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. What do you do for a living? Police officer. Just lift up your hands. Father, I pray that even in a chosen line of duty or operation, I pray the promotion of God even upon a life. I say, God, may you minister your promotion even upon a life. May you order your life according to your will and your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There is a message that I'm hearing as I'm praying for you. That God wants to guide your life. Because there are things that happened earlier on in your life which I see you regretting. I see you regretting certain things which happened earlier on in your life. And the Spirit of God is saying, Jesus Christ is ready to be your friend. He was is a friend even of those who make errors and mistakes in their lives. That's what I'm hearing from the Spirit of God. And that he, even this promotion that I was praying about, you must just believe that God has brought this promotion. Because God does not consult our past in order to, to bless us. Amen. If God did that, then no one would be blessed because all of us have got weaknesses Amen. as human beings. So just to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. There is an area of your life where God is leading you in a certain way. The Holy Spirit is telling me to tell you that just yield to the Holy Spirit so that you are led by the Spirit of God. I want you to pray and say, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, this afternoon, this afternoon, I am yielding to your spirit. I am yielding to your spirit, so that you lead me by your spirit. So that you lead me by your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done, my sister. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this sister. I say, God, let your spirit touch her life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, that you are a good God. That you are touching her life. Jesus mighty name. I thank you Holy Spirit. That you are touching her life. Just touch your stomach. Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you Lord. That you are uprooting everything which the enemy. Has planted in the life of this sister. I thank you Lord even for your anointing. Which is descending from your presence. That God. You are ministering even your breakthrough, even your deliverance, even your power, even upon this sister. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, that you are a good God, that you are a gracious God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, living spirit. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. May I have the anointing oil? I, I, I want to give you anointing oil, which you will use. Yes. Father, I minister deliverance with this anointing oil. I minister deliverance. Just lift up your hands. I minister freedom upon your life. I declare what is written in John chapter 8, verse 36, that if the Son sets someone free, they are free indeed. I release your freedom even upon this sister. Whatever chains or ropes that the enemy has used to connect himself, to this sister, I say today they are broken by the reason of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Even as it is written in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, that the yoke shall be removed from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. I declare that today the yoke is destroyed from this sister. She's entering into a wealthy place. Father, how I thank you that we are going to hear her testimonies of what God is doing in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I will give you anointing oil. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, even for this child, that you are doing a new thing even in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, that you are touching even the life of this sister. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name. Come against any attack in the dream. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Any attack of any sort in the dream in a life, I say, God, may you minister your freedom. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I also want to give you anointing oil. 